Hey teachers, Tim here. I forgot to show you this one thing when it comes to the fraction bars uh, in Mathagon's Polypad. All right, so I just wanted to illustrate fraction addition really quickly and something really cool you could do with any one of these bars once you drag it out on the Polypad. Um, so here we're asked to model uh, and determine the sum two-thirds plus three-fourths. So uh, we could take out and, you know, build it as we would like. So two-thirds is here, right? And how do we make three-fourths? Well, we can get it right here. And, uh, you know, lengthen and shorten the bar as we, as we need. Okay? It, <coughs> excuse me. And so right here, if you actually, if students get in the habit of uh, duplicating, uh, highlighting these fraction bars and uh, copying it, as you see right here, Remember, whatever you highlight, uh, you can copy. And I'll use my uh, keyboard uh, arrows to kind of move it like directly below, okay? You can actually take this copy and start modifying it. So right here where you, uh, um, you can actually want, uh, rename the fraction bars. I'm like, well, what do you mean by rename? If you click it, see how it changes two thirds to four sixths, right? So each third is now, uh, each third is now a sixth long. I mean, you could actually, you know, kind of go at it that way. They can explore a fraction equivalency this way. And we can go here and rename it. But gosh, see here I have sixths and eighths. That's not good, right? So what if I keep going? Ninths, and over here I have twelfths, and over here I have, oh, twelfths. Looks like I can have a common denominator of twelve here, right? And so now we can ask students to go ahead and represent, you know, uh, represent it this way. We have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight twelfths here. And then uh, what, we have nine twelfths here. So we have eight twelfths and nine twelfths. And the question is, how many do we have? Well, I guess we have 17 of those, right? And yeah, got the glitter too. So um, just wanted to show you that. Again, anything that you drag here, right? For the example, the number one, if you rename it, you can go to uh, halves and then just keep going. Thirds, fourths. It actually goes up to 30 seconds, believe it or not. Look how small these get. This is pretty awesome. So there's a lot you can do here um, with uh, you know comparing fractions, determining writing equivalent fractions, adding, subtracting, you name it. The sky is the limit here. So just wanted to show you that, and uh, thanks for watching.